Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you this video from Jerusalem on a uh, very, very fresh winter's New Year's Day. I wanna to talk today about a tripod that I've been using for approximately the past three months. It's become a really, really integral part of my video production and that is the uh, Manfrotto Compact Advanced tripod. Now this is a tripod that a lot of folks who are looking for something compact are drawn to. Firstly, it's a pretty cheap tripod. This guy comes in at about $80. I picked it up on Amazon.it and if by any chance you're watching this, you have a business trip coming up to Italy or you're in Italy for any other reason, I actually highly recommend checking out Amazon Italia and all these different Amazon uh, marketplaces because they do prime trials and it can be uh, a really, really good way to pick up some gear. So this guy comes in at about, as I mentioned, um, $80 thereabouts, depending on where you purchase it, and it only weighs 1.4 kilograms. So a lot of people looking for a tripod that, you know, they're taking some trips or they're going hiking and they want something that kind of isn't gonna weigh a ton. This guy comes with a little drawstring you know strap and it's pretty comfortable just kind of put it over your shoulder. It supports a payload of up to three kilograms so this isn't the right tripod if you know you've got a really really big uh, ENG style camcorder and you're gonna be putting some a big monitor on top of that but if you have something compact like a mirrorless camera or a compact camcorder like the XA40 I'm shooting with, this will definitely should support that payload. Obviously just need to check the specs. Now, here is the why I do not recommend it as a video tripod specifically. So the thing about the compact advanced tripod is it has this, they, Manfrotto call it a three-way head mechanism. And basically it's got two levers, one for adjusting you know, the up and down and one for adjusting the left and the right. Now this is really, really useful if you need to set up the tripod, like I have this tripod set up in front of me. I'm recording this video on a near tripod and you know, I'm just speaking directly into the camera so there's no movement going on. The problem comes if you want to do panning or tilting with the tripod or both at the same time. If you do one uh, or the other, it, it can work, but it doesn't even really work because even if you're, even as you're panning across using a camera, the horizon's not going to say, not going to say, stay straight unless you do a little bit of offset to the pitch. So um, this basically works really well. What this tripod is great for who I would recommend this for. A couple of uses, firstly, if you're looking for a compact travel tripod for photography, this would be an amazing tripod because you can just set up your camera, uh, you know, get the perfect level, and that two-handle mechanism actually comes in really handy for that. However, as soon as you try to capture a subject using uh, just, you know, fluid motion, for instance, I was shooting some airplanes at an airport the last day, and I was using the, Man the Manfrotto Compact Compact, advanced and it just did not work at all. It's extremely difficult to follow a subject because you have to use the two handles of the tripod at the same time and it's just not something that's easy or natural to do. So basically this is a really good tripod but I think something that the reviews that I watched on YouTube didn't really do a good job at getting across is the problematic nature of this three-way head if you're using it for videography specifically. Great tripod for photography if you're looking for a tripod that you're going to be setting up for stuff like I'm shooting on this video, you know, kind of uh, static talking head videos, it's also great because you're not going to need to do anything in the way of panning and tilting really. However, if you're looking for stuff shooting nature videography, wedding videography, certainly airplanes, anything where you're going to, to need to track a subject, using these two levers gets really awkward. It can be done uh, with a lot of practice, but it's extremely difficult and it's just much, much easier using specifically a video tripod with one handle than it is trying to make this tripod work. Hope that was uh, helpful if you're looking at picking this guy up. Uh, for the price, it's good, but certainly for video, I would recommend looking elsewhere. Thanks for watching. If you want to get more videos, do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.